They just do memes, and it's fantastic, and they theme it all Avatar The Last Airbender. And there's giveaways. I, I don't know. I don't know why they're doing that. But they do all sorts of crazy updates where it's been like, Korra haters are banned from bossing say, stuff like this. Yeah, no, it's it's hilarious. I love them. Because I'll randomly come across it on my timeline and I'm like, yeah, that tracks. <laughs> Mac and cheese Cheetos flavor glows under black light. Frozen, was that your game? I think it had to have been, but that was scary. Okay, anyway. We're back. We're gonna crochet some more. If you're just wandering on in, you're like, what the heck, Liz? Hi. My name is Liz. I'm a squirrel. I'm a variety crafter, mostly. I, cra I cross-stitch mostly, but I do crochet. Crochet's been heavy the last few weeks, but that's, you know, it is what it is. But we're making a cardigan. It's out of this ombre yarn. It's mandala ombre in the color Harmony. And we're making a granny square cardigan. A granny hexagon cardigan. And I like using this mandala and self-striping yarns for things like this because then it's minimal effort. <laughs> Because hashtag lazy, hashtag taking the cheap way out of it, hashtag less ends to weave in. And uh, this one ends up looking like denim and I really do love it. I love the color variations and it's just, it's kind of a wonderful yarn to work with. I accidentally used my mom's fabric scissors for wrapping paper and now the cops are here. Yeah, as they should be. <laughs> oh my god, no wonder why that's been hurting me all day. The cats got me yesterday. Right on the knuckle. No wonder why that's been hurting. I've been hitting my knuckle when I crochet. There's a cut. There's two cuts in there. Oof. That is gonna suck. How many people are um, staying home for the holiday? You're staying home? Me too. excited I'm kind of excited to not have to have like a holiday pressure sort of situation because I always feel like holidays are so like high maintenance high pressure situations and this year we're I mean I'm gonna be here I'm gonna be here for a little bit and then I'm gonna go make dinner and then we're gonna wait for letter Kenny to get released and I think we're gonna binge some letter Kenny because Letter Kenny's amazing. Love that show. I might also rent a movie. There's a movie on Amazon Prime that you can rent right now. It's still in theaters. Um, it's called Violent Night. It's literally David Harbour from like Stranger Things. And he's Santa Claus. And he just kills people. And it's, it sounds like my kind of a holiday movie. <laughs> It sounds just as ridiculous as Cocaine Bear. And if you haven't seen the trailer for Cocaine Bear, you let me know and we're gonna pull up that trailer and we're gonna watch the Cocaine Bear trailer because it's fucking funny. I live three blocks from the family so I don't get a jail out of free. Oh no! That sucks. Yeah, run. Hey, <laughs> she's like, I'm seeing it! Cocaine Bear! Oh my god, I cannot wait. So it's loosely based on true events. Like, very loosely. It's actually a partially true story. Oh, okay, we're gonna watch this trailer. We're gonna find this. So it's a partially true trailer. It's a partially true movie. Basically, the premise of it 
It bases off a, a true story that happened, I forget in what state, but a drug runner was flying their plane over a forest. And out of the back of the plane, some bricks of uh, illicit drugs fell out of the back of the plane. Kentucky, thank you. Yes, Kentucky. Yes, I'm not even kidding. Um, and <laughs> no joke, the a bear, a black bear, found a brick of this cocaine and completely ingested it. In the real life version of this story, the bear died of a heart attack, right? The bear died of a heart attack, but in our wonderful, lovely version. Medic! Oh, Jesus. What is that? We should go. Millions of dollars worth of cocaine fell from the sky this morning in Knoxville, Tennessee.